So the rest of it wasn't filming. Huh? Oh no, I'm just is that the fourth largest observatory or the fourth one of four major ones? Uh, definitely a major one. I'm not sure I remember that. That would be a lot of fun Which Jamal says was typical for his family. I don't know what that way, but I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's a U tour. That might be the way we came. in front of a horse loading ramp. Why is there a horse? Oh, hearse? No, there's a horse. <laughs> huh? Are there horses coming up here? It'd be easy to ride a horse up here. Look at the birds. Not going to? They're cute. You know, Iraq looks like this. From, uh, from Jordan, the road that's up. Uh, Iraq side is very much like this. Uh, how many days were you in Jordan for? Ten. Okay, so this is the summit area. This is where they said the washrooms don't work. That's too and probably Maybe sh Maybe you should get out and read the sign. Yeah, sure, if you guys want to jump out and read it, go ahead. Okay. You know, ten is two less days than how long we're going to be here. Oh, we go, we go the whole no, Halikalala no, Halikala National Park Summit District. We are here. So we are the lands the landscape of the park rises from a lush valley beneath a waterfall at sea level to a red desert of cinder cones here at the volcanic summit of Halikala. The an astounding array of climates and life zones lies in between, yet the park's many contrasting worlds are virtually linked. Rain that falls on the volcano slopes and carves its valleys nourishes a multitude of life forms. You are now in Kua Mauna, the land above the clouds. Their people never dwelled for long. Kapoi Kahiko, the people of old, only came to this sacred place for specific reasons requiring training and understanding. At the foot of the mountains lays Kahakai, no Kahaki, the coastal lands inhabited and cultivated for centuries. Halakila National Park preserves and helps perpetuate the cultural richness of both Kua Mauna. Uh, Hakia, and the diverse features in between. It's all here for you to explore. Trails skirt dramatic coastline or follow pooling streams to Wai Moku Falls at the head of a densely forested valley. The Kaipa'ulu 
you can get a sense of how people lived in old Hawaii. Foundations of old village sites, cultural demonstrations, and a living taro farm are preserved and perpetuated. Summit. The summit is an island atop a volcanic island with its own distinctive climate and habitats. Its cinder desert is sometimes frozen and seemingly barren, yet a variety of creatures and unique plants like silver sword have adapted to the summit's extremes. Despite the contrasts to seashores of Maui, the summit is connected to the rest of the island in critical ways. The upper slopes capture moisture to nourish the rainforest of Kai. Pa'ulu and feed the streams and waterfalls in the valley. The summit also preserves portions of the original Hawaii of the original Hawaii, including veg native vegetation and evidence of the early inhabitants. Trails, scenic overlooks, naturalist programs, bird watching, picnicking. So we are here. There's the next overlook, and the next overlook, and the next overlook, the park headwaters. And there's also this trail that you could take. We gave someone a ride up the mountain from their trail.